great head for uh, uh, understanding platform fighters and turning it into a potential top 16 finish, but you cannot count out Protagify ever. Nope, and you cannot count out the new character from Protagify that we are currently seeing. Maybe it's button warm-up, maybe it's the commitment, because I will say Prota has been practicing this palm, right? Yes. The Absa has not left. In fact, we may see it later on, but we saw Sego beat an Absa to start his run into this losers, right? So maybe Prota's looking for a different answer, at least to start. And um, yeah, tight set with an Napsa against an Napsa in Akashi. And Akashi extremely good, but when's you, have the, to, you have to extra change of pace here. When's the last time we saw this matchup? Uh, yeah, good answer. I don't <laughs> think so. That's my answer. I don't think That's so. That's the new one to me. Yeah, so I'm really interested to see okay, how both these players respond, right? Because maybe they've played it online against a couple players. But these are two titans of their characters, right? Proto, one of the new pioneers, I would say, of the palm, right? He's one of the ones committed into designing his own playstyle around it, right? Figuring out what he wants to do. Sego wrote the book on Shovel Knight, right? One of the ones to do it on the character. Neither of these two are going to have had practice partners like each other and like they're going to be playing against in the set. And it's going to be really interesting to see how these two respond. Yeah, just completely different vibes on the part of Shovel Knight and Palm, like very different like, the ways they orchestrate themselves, but it's Sego off to a an early start. And oh, the air dodge Yay! off to get the dare sweet spot, so smart. Goes for the anchor after, but good DI from Prota to not fall into it. Into the back air, up air, off of the note. That's big. Yeah, Sego fully, fully aware of much of what the Workshop 4 can do. Oh, absolutely. So. Catching Sego by surprise is going to be extremely hard. And the way Sego just like will see the moment sometimes, chilling on top platform, resting on that package and saying, I know you're trying to snipe me with an up air, but don't worry, this shovel it has your name written on it. Yeah. And it is digging a grave for Proto right now. Trying to go so off stage, not let him play with any sense of comfort right now. It's coming down. I like that Proto is just taking their time, but you gets do, the momentum nail. Yeah, you do have to kind of play with that in mind. If you're going to play a little bit of a slower, more like aerial based game to try and respect Shovel Knight's range, then you give him a chance just to. Uh, that's deep. That's. Rough. That, that is a completely unforced error there from Protag, and that is hard to do in game one. Luckily, it is just game one. Yeah. I mean, it's the sort of thing he didn't want to get hit by the F smash, but at a certain point, you have to recognize when your resources are dwindling, and Sego more than happy to just put that pressure on. Worst case, he gets hit by the back hit of Fair and can reset, but the pressure that it puts on Proda to make a decision was just too much information overload. That gear going to set up for him right now, the momentum mail, just throwing all of the options at Proda and forcing him to respond, right? If this is a matchup we don't see often, then maybe one of the best ways to deal with it is to just try to put pressure on your opponent. Certainly a way you can go about it, but great Nair and Fair. And with that conversion will seal off the stock pro tag. They've been looking real good here, but uh, especially after dropping that stock so suddenly. But this momentum now, being able to take the more methodical palm and just sling yourself into her airspace and say like, hey, like I'm here too now and you have to deal with that. What a gear catch. But yeah, right now it's a lot of nickel and dimes from Sego, right? We're used to seeing Shovel Knight go for these absurd confirms to get his kills, but right now he's just taking it slow and steady, trying to build up percent to one of these smash attacks will just take the stock on the lighter palm. Big down tilt pick up there from Protag. Great Dak is, or no, sorry, dash attack catch. But he is going to get back to stage. That would have been big. Burned a lot of resources. Dash attack into up smash with momentum now. Sego's like, my bad. My bad. I'm, I'm genuinely, I don't think he knows how he knows how he landed that dash attack. Yeah. Which is hysterical. But one of the best parts about playing in those scrambles and playing in that chaos is reacting to the situation. Even if you're not always certain, like, oh man, will I win this? Will I yeah. find that hit? That's okay. You did find the hit and you hit confirmed off of it. That is experience and playing out, even I, if you do make a joke out of it. If you don't mind me talking about it real quick, I'd like to talk a, real quickly about the background of Sego as a player, right? He's a fighting game specialist. He plays Nasby at the top level, right? He is so talented when it comes to different games. 
he performs so brutally in our workshops as well, right? Was known as a workshop player. If there's one thing he's prepared for, it's the unexpected. It's the thing he isn't prepared for, right? He knows how to adapt. He knows how to just play smart with things he isn't used to seeing. And this pawn, while it may be new, Sego is more than ready for new. And whenever you're, in, whenever you're facing something where you may not always know what to do, what the exact right situation, sometimes the best way to do it is just to play solid. And that's exactly what Sego has been doing. What an unfair catch. When you see him up there, you're seeing on top platform, what do you do when a player is sitting on a platform? You shark them. Yep. That is keeping it bread and butter, fundamental play there from Sego and finding a lot of reward off of it. And I mean, something big about Shovel Knight, while he's a very unique character in his own right, has a lot of very interesting tools, including that up there being the propeller knife, but you, if you're not ready to counter find the specific tools out of counterplay, then Shovel Knight's got a lot of fundamental strengths to him. Yeah, and we have not seen Proto really able to get a big string. Whoa, big oh. DI out. That's tough. Um, but does get <laughs> momentum mail, right? Still a lead, right? Really? Because yeah, it was intentional. Th this Shovel Knight item pickup is so big for the change in gameplay. It makes certain confirms possible that weren't before, and it just makes neutral so much scarier for this bomb. That's very true, Spooly. Like we're seeing, especially with platforms like this, the charge up of side B's momentum mail in general can just force, get you so much, get you to places so much quicker. And when Palm likes to set up a zone where she's extremely strong, that note field, you can just find your way into that note field instantaneously and start threatening that range with your disjoints and with your added tools. Oh, great pickup oh, with up that note. No, we're patient. Just for another note, or sorry, another up air off that. Yeah, very big conversion. Does get a trade here. We've seen a very slow, methodical kill build up from Proto. No big combos, but he doesn't need them right now. Picks up the lead by just putting pressure, getting these nickel and dimes, and then getting these kill confirms the moment he can. All that up smash, big, but great DI. After the upshot didn't close out the side. We're going for a horn. I actually, I, I love this pickup against air characters in specific, because now your entire no field is dangerous. Where are you going to go? Everything can be covered, right? And the, the like palm, you know, fair back to stage, that's not safe anymore. What a he, tech from Proto. <laughs> what, a, what a parry. Even better, like, aware from Sego. Like, the get back onto stage into immediate parry, and you still have, you still have that horn. You still can do the, do the way. Yeah. If Palm sings, you can play your instrument. Oh, <laughs> bits. <laughs> yeah, and both of them just feeling each other out, throwing out some moves to say, get away from me. Neither of them connecting right now. But both of them putting pressure on one another. All oh, the up B into combo. What are we going to see? The bear into dash attack. Not quite what Poto is looking for. Perhaps the song field ended a little too early, but it's still going to pick this combo back up. Not a pick. Be up as well. Vincent barely. The weight of all time. Hey, yo. Forces Hey says, you have to react to my Dacus. You parried. My note's coming. Hey, you're in perfect spot for my sweet spot of my move now. You goodbye. You Repped the note after the Dac after the Dacus anticipated the parry deep on reaction from Sego and blew his head off. What a finish from Prota as we see a character swap from Sego going over to the fours burn. Yeah. This is admittedly a character I have not seen much from Sego. Me neither. Um but again, but Sego he is the player that it doesn't matter if you've never seen him play it before, you have to respect it. You have to recognize the caliber of player that he is, no matter who he's playing. This is a really early combust. It is. Question is, is it going to get forced out before then? Because right now we've seen Proto getting a lot of neutral wins. There. Oh, has to get him back in the no field. Does so successfully. The dash attack up air combust, but you're still alive. Got sent upwards with it on a big stage. Go. Oh, what a pickup. And that wasn't even a hesitation there. Didn't even try to charge it. Responded to exactly where Proto went. It does it so fast that it doesn't even matter, right? Gets the wave dash into the down smash. Because he was so fast, Proto yeah. still wasn't able to respond. Just pure reaction. Awareness of at this percentage, falling up or will set up into a tech chase. And I can read that tech chase and read and react to that tech chase yeah. perfectly. Proto forced to play a little bit, playing around the smoke, utilizing Vince effectively. Oh, what a way! Goes for the second dare, gets maybe a little greedy for it, and that's going to be a huge edge guard. That's yeah. going to be the sock. 
Marin to Fair, beautiful place to and from Prota. We're, we're forgetting to talk about this counter pick, right? This is considered generally a palm stage from my understanding, right? You right. have these low top blast zones, you have the conversions off the top, you have these escapes very easily onto those top platforms from recovery from palm. But even still, Sego saying, I want to take you here. We saw initially he goes for the down smash read. Perhaps is looking to kill early off those top platforms, but a very uncharacteristic pick for the most part against Kong. Great if, parry. If there's anything you want to do here as Forest Brim, though, is because your lap boosting and your, your initial dash in general is so good, mm -hmm. uh, getting across in the middle of this uh, stage is so seamless sometimes. So you're able to reliably intercept with things like a Nair or more prominently and more consistently, things like a big, big back air. That up B okay, is going to catch this works. big, but good air dodge from Proda to not get caught by that down smash. And I feel like we've seen a lot of Sego's hits come from a lot of these tech chase reads, right? right? Which are fantastic, right? They show your opponent, I'm reacting, I'm responding to what you're doing. But it does lead me to be a little concerned if he can't... I was going to say, if he can't find these reads, right? What is he going to do? It, but sometimes he'll simply out. just keep finding them. That's his answer. He is going to get yeah. that tech chase, though, off the new. We'll put quotes into keep finding him for that particular instance. That's fair. <laughs> like, that is fair. Kind of falling into the hitbox with Great down air from Proda. But you still find the pickup, of course. It's still a very even kind of back and forth type game. Able to spawn Notefield just in the nick of time there. And Sango has been just swinging. Great down smash in response to that parry. He's the so fast. Air. Whoa. Clone is being very threatening, and that is... Broda dropping another stock. Some shakes I mean, ahead. I Get mean, some unfortunate kind of. Broda is comfortable on Palm. Oh yeah, they of play a lot of Palm, right? And but they it look is comfortable. It is a newer character for them, right? It's not the character that we have seen in the other tournaments a year ago or two years ago before Palm released. We're used to seeing that Absa, and when you're put into those high stress scenarios, sometimes there's just a little bit of more hesitation, a little bit of panic, right? And that perhaps is what we're seeing that's making Proto lose some of these uncharacteristic stocks that are keeping Sego ahead in the set. Looking very calm here in terms of the stage of rock wall. And what a ball. great Nair. Sorry, I no, played I Fours. I, I thought that Nair conversion oh, I'm, was very I'm great. with you. The different ways to play Fours is what makes the character so interesting because he's endlessly flexible. His yes. entire kit is being built around like a misdirection yes. camouflage. And, and these DI mix-ups can be so much more impactful oh, hello. when you don't go for the bread and butters that most players are used to against Forsburn, right? Sego playing unconventionally, but sometimes that's the best thing. And I think especially for a character like Forsburn, unconventional can be terrifying. An important point, Schooly, but the the downside when it comes to that for Forsburn is if you're not, if you're being a little bit too uh, unconventional, to use the same word, suddenly things like Clone get a lot less utilization. Because now Clone is just, a, I mean, it's still good, it's still a mobile detonation device, but you lose that sense of disguise and you lose that potential mix up. The neutral tech down strong is a high level strategy. <laughs> it, we, it works <laughs> at all levels. It, it, it will continue to work at all levels. Yes. <laughs> Who knew a move the size of the moon that has intense kill power and is hard to DI is pretty good. <laughs> Shout outs. <laughs> good out of 10. Ooh, good bad. Out of 10. Uh, wow, this is. One? There yeah. Was Sega was so, so good, but the pickup even better from Proto, forcing into a multitude of juggle situations. You have to contest with. Four. You know, I just have this thought. Proto had been going for a lot of juggles, utilizing like. Palm's amazing up air and, uh, and float and utilities and such, but normally juggling can be kind of dangerous against Forceburn because right of fair. down air. But we haven't been seeing Sego utilize down air as any sort of a landing tool, he, even for like edge cancel mix ups or anything off of these yeah, platforms. We saw it a lot on that air armada stage, and it was admittedly getting snuffed out a couple of times, so I wonder if Sego has been opting to use it a little bit less, or maybe it's just that he doesn't feel comfortable comboing off it. As we say that, he's starting to use it more, goes deep. And puts the pressure on that rock wall. Sour spot bear doesn't matter because the other one was coming in. There's nowhere to go on such a small stage. Yeah, DI out and you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. DI right. out or DI in, but 
Still, they find finding pickups here exclusively. We're st still seeing Proto get away by the skin of their teeth time and time that again. Being all said, up airs. 50, 60, the percent is racking up. Oh, goes so Woo! deep. Not afraid, right? But th this is the scary spot for both these characters. Even if you're not afraid, Palm can kill you so fast on this stage! And the, the slight little pop-off as well. It was such, such a reaching up air, but Palm up air is that button sometimes. Like, swinging so far up. Sego is taking... Oh, it's polling the crowd yeah. to see who's going. MSB wanted the monkey. Nobody else did. No one else did. <laughs> Some people want to say, see Stego stay in this turn. No, I'm sure Stego's <laughs> monkey is terrifying. I, I don't want to see it. <laughs> that sounds like well, a crime. Well, we will not be seeing it because this is game five. Everything on the line here, we're seeing the raster, right? And this is a character that, you know, you make a couple mistakes, everything could go awry. You make a couple of reads and everything goes right. That is a zero to death to start it out. And I'm starting to wonder, why didn't we start with the raster? Why? Why does nobody play this character? Right? <laughs> like, it's Kusi now, Yusef, yes. Rakai. Uh, uh, oh, shoot, what's his name? <laughs> Alright, regardless, but there is so few rasters, and I can't stand it. This character is ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. You know, look at you, this. Look we, at this right now. And that's the thing, this character, oh, great pickup. Ridiculous as it may be does suffer from mistakes, right? You Very get true. less mistakes than everyone else in the game, right? So you have to make every single thing count, which is why we rarely see it as someone who doesn't main the character picking it up mid-set, right? We've seen a couple of prodigies, players like Kusi, right? Who are so incredibly talented, they can beat half of the players with any character they choose, right? Yeah, I mean, but Kusi for the cool. most part, right, this is not a character that you would just hot switch to in the game five. So now what a tech jump from Boda and what a, I mean, greedy, greedy downbeat from Sego. Oh no. And you've that. got that airspeed as Palm in order to avoid so many of these setups, but the uppy in one of the most chaotic sets of Heatwave 2023, I better have gone to a game five. I don't know how we got here, but I'm so glad this but is it's where amazing. we are. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And this is last stock, and both of these characters can just disappear the other ones so quickly. These fairs, great air dodge. That was so fast. Great dash attack. Gets the read. This is so scary. That's it. Oh, oh, the train. No, oh, that is so important right now. I'm so, so ready with that down smash. But it's not enough. Yo, the slide off into a second fair try oh, to drive oh, away. Oh, 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 gets by the Oh my god, this is just so back and forth. They're going back and forth. One second away, one inch away from killing the You're gonna do it. The huge hug after. Literally take it away. Oh no. Someone save Proda. What a what a finish! Like just multiple times over, Sango's readiness for these positions. Like, all right, I know I'm expecting a trade or to win here, so I'm buffering the upbeat to try and close out the stock. And you can see the results of the end. Look at this! Look at it! <laughs> yeah, that's passion. That was a set for the ages. I that's did chaos. <laughs> did not expect that. But, oh, I wouldn't have had it any other way.